just need to scroll around, where are we? AC limit, go back to that, whatever. Right, so AC limit, I'm gonna select whatever in the center. You see now we've got a, a true reading there. Yeah. So you can set it all the way up to 16 now if you wanted to. Okay, so what we're actually using in the middle is, that's, that's the amplitude. So yeah. you can see we're, we're below that at the moment, but a kettle may just take it above it, or a hairdryer, or mm. obviously something like that, that doesn't bother me normally, but stand there and have quite a breeze then. Uh, <laughs> as you can't see with my hat on, because it's rather cold, I need to keep my head warm. Right, so you can see this little icon in the top right hand corner, yeah. that's save we've set. Okay, if I switch it off, that little icon's disappeared. Okay. Okay, so if you if you haven't got a limit on, you've just got to be careful, cautious how, how much power you use. If you're using a lot, obviously this time of year is going to be using more because you need cold, it's cold, you need more energy to warm things up, dry things, kettle on, toaster on, whatever. Next one, select battery. If your car was still attached on site, so when you pitched up and you had the car actually attached, you could draw power from the 12 volt off the car if you wanted to, but you can do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Especially these nice new cars that have got uh, lots of electronic different things on. Battery's not going to be good if it's uh, no battery there. You could try and select it. It's not going to let you because it says no vehicles there. Okay. Right. Next one, solar panel. We've got a solar panel on the roof. That's showing you what voltage we could have and what ampage we could be bringing in. Obviously, it's not too good today because it's a bit dull. Okay. Solar panel will not power everything in this van. All it will do is just trickle charge the battery. So if you switch all the lights off, you've got no power connected, you switch everything on, the battery will still drain down. Yeah. Okay. It's just there really to trickle charge it. Um, quite handy in storage. If you've got it in storage, you've got no, no 240 to it. It just stops your battery from dying yeah. as such. But it'll keep, keep it uh, trickle charged. Okay, no vehicle battery is connected, even though it's showing a bit of a voltage there. So if your car was attached, you'd be able to see what that is showing. Ledger charging. So in the center, that's showing your voltage of your battery. With the ledger, le the, 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 with the ledger charging on, that's why we're pumping 14.2 uh, through it. Normally it's about 12, 12 and a half. Yeah. So if there's no, if there's no electric connected, you would see the, the actual reading reading of your battery. Okay. okay, sergeant. That is the actual manufacturer's sergeant. They do the electronics in caravans. And that's the actual model that it is. System settings. Through the system settings, we can change the clock. We can change the light on this. This one goes to sleep after so many seconds. You can just wave in front of it, and it uh, lights you back up again. Same with these LEDs. So it's not annoying you at night. Not, not, mm. You'll probably see it with the door shut anyway. So it's not too bad for you unless someone was sleeping here. That light might uh, affect them, but it, it shuts itself off, so you can't see it. Good thinking, isn't it? Okay, and then you can also connect via Bluetooth. Yeah. Um, pair it up with Bluetooth through there as well. Okay. Heating settings. This will talk to the heater. <coughs> okay, this system you can control the heating with. You can talk to it via Bluetooth or remotely. All right. There you go. And uh, dim and overwood back round to that. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Happy with that? Obviously, yeah, it's yeah. a quick, <laughs> quick run through. <laughs> yeah. But it's... His basics are master switch 12 volts on, so you always switch that on when you get in your van. Yeah. Water pump, master switch main lights, master switch dimble lights, and warning light. light. And then you just scroll through menu and select. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Happy with that? I'm happy, yeah. Yeah, good. Heating, uh, the heating side. Are you, are you happy on the Yeah, on the yeah that's the same as. Exactly the same, exactly the same. Um, yeah, I can't see there being any difference in the model you had to this one. They, I don't think they've changed much that I can think of. Um, Seems the same sort yeah, of. Yeah, that, that all looks the same. You might. Did you have mountains on your last one? That might be different. It depends <laughs> on how, how far you went. The only, that's no, probably we'll just that's, keep it that's, basic. Yeah, you know? that's right. So you can switch different things on there. You can switch a timer on there as well. You can switch that can control it timer wise as well. So you, yeah. if you want to set the timer on there, you're, you're quite happy on what these are. Yeah. Switching the gas on the electric on. How do you set the timer? Because we never did that, did we? The timer? No. On the timer. So, as I said, you can set a timer on here if you want to do it. You set a timer via that. Yeah. It, it's up to you which one you do. That one is quite good. It's got a seven-day timer to control mm. that. This one, you've got, go into there. You obviously need to set the clock first. Okay? Yes. What you've got is, you've got a couple of timers, or two or three timers, actually. Reduce temperature timer for night time. If you don't like it too hot, like, normally during the day, you'll have it at a certain temperature. Night time, sometimes you'll have it cooler because yeah. you don't like it too hot at night time. So what you can do is set a timer to say run from say 10 o'clock at night to say 7 o'clock in the morning. On a lower setting, it obviously won't drop down to that temperature. Yeah. You only do that naturally. Yeah. And then over that period of time, obviously it's, it remains at that temperature. And then in the morning, it, it will timer comes off. It will revert back to your, your daytime running. So it's just as, obviously after so many seconds, it goes back to your main street. So on there, you just set temperature, set the time you want to do it, yeah. switch it on. And that's it. Yeah. You can you can switch water heating off at that particular uh, period as well if you wanted to. And the backlighting the screen as well. 
So it's quite it is quite a simple one to set up. Seven day timer. You can set you can set every day as all, or you can set individual days. Again, you can switch water treating on and off, so you can just switch it off if you wanted to. And then just set press on, which it says off at the moment. If you press on, that will set it on. That's right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it's it, it, it is quite, slow, a, quite yeah. a, This is a, I, I like this panel. It's really good. You, it, you can do the same with that as well. That side. Okay. Um, and there's one other one. I can find it. That one there. That is what is called a, a delayed timer. So you could set the timer to come on once a week for a period of 24 hours. So set it for say uh, for Monday. I want it to come on for Monday. This may be when you're in. Uh, if you've got it stored at home, you, you used to got power to it. Yeah. You, once a week, you could warm your van up. Yeah. So especially over this period of time yeah. to air it out. Yeah. So you could set it to come on for say from nine o'clock on Monday morning. It will run for 20, 24 hours. Then it will shut shut off. So yeah. in the morning, Tuesday, it will shut off. Mm. Seven days time, it will repeat exactly the same time. Mm. So, so yeah. it'll do once yeah. twenty four hours once a week if you if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. then bits. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, for that, yeah. Good. Straightforward. Yeah, it's it's yeah. not too bad, not too bad. Right, we'll just have a look at the consumer unit because that will be slightly different new baby. Because that's got a couple of switches on it as well. That's it. That's it. Just have a seat. Have a seat there. That's it. Consumer unit hiding under the, under your bunk. Right, heating and hot water. If that on your bailey, you may not have had an on-off switch for your heating system. That no. one there. If we have a look up on the top right hand corner of the heating system now. Yeah. Little plugs just as just disappeared. Switch, yeah. If that is not switched on, yeah. or you obviously haven't got electric connected or the bollard's tripped, so if that little plug's not there, you're not operating on electric. Okay, it yeah. may be you haven't switched that on there. Uh, yes. Okay, charge your switch. On your Bailey, as soon as you plug electric in, it was going to charge. Yeah. This one has got its own, It's obviously it's got a charge unit, which is that one there. That switches it on or off. You can leave yeah. that switched on, because obviously as soon as you unplug electric, there's no power to it yeah. anyway. 240 well. trips, that should look the same. Okay, yeah. yeah. This should look slightly different. Fuses, even though they're the same type of fuses. Green light there, that's your charger fuse. If I just switch that off now. So that's saying you, your charger fuse is okay. Yeah. LEDs uh, alongside each of these other ones, they glow red. That fuse is gone, so it's an indicator to say uh, that's, that's gone. Oh, that's good. Okay. System shut down, which I showed you before. So yeah. when you're in storage, what you can do is switch that off. That will stop the drain down of your battery or slow the drain down of your battery solar power will still be providing power as long as one you haven't got the covers on i've got a cover on it obviously it's not going to work yeah, if you've no. got a cover over yeah. top of it or you're in a dark shed yeah yeah so that will still provide power even though that is switched off okay yeah. okay another thing that you've got there is reverse priority light it's an indicator light if you go on the continent they wire things different than what we do so you plug your power in come and have a look if it's lit then that means it is reversed you're going to need an adapter to operate off the off the bollard okay yeah okay yeah down there we've got the two boxes because you've got a, a all-wheel drive so you've got two control boxes for your motor mover mm. and then drain down so that should look exactly the same yeah it should be an, an easier place to get to compared to your oh yeah it was right in the yeah, back corner a, wasn't it yeah. Pet, yeah unless you've got really thin arms or long arms trying to get to it it's yeah. always a pain so a lot easier obviously you've lost a lot of space there for storage really do not pile stuff on top of them when you're using it if they overheat they'll just switch the yeah. your uh, motor mover off okay okay yeah, we'll leave that, leave that as it is. Yeah, okay. So a boiler sitting in that corner, exactly the same. Your boiler was sitting there probably. Yeah, it was, yeah. It's, uh, it's off, in, off in the corner. That's your water pump there. Okay. That, that's your onboard water pump. It's not that noise, it's just making, you can hear now, that's nothing to do with your van, it's the compressor that's sitting in the back of the Hey! I'll have a little bit more light then, doggy. That's what she does. Yeah, that's right. What? Fridge, that should look pretty similar. I would, expect, I would expect you would have had a domestic. Yeah, yeah the, the, the uh, tall fridge in yours. Tall fridge, but it was wider. But it hadn't got oh, oh it's what, what you probably had was the uh, was was freezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you had a twin axle, you had the. Yeah. This, this one is just a tall, long, tall fridge, which is really good. Um, advantage, obviously, that one is when you're in storage, you can keep everything open. Obviously, it prevents the your mouldy a bit gets a bit mouldy around there if it's all yeah. been left shut and in storage. Okay. Yeah. To switch it on, does that look the same same switches apart from you might have probably one less button because you yeah. would have had the uh, warmer upper for the uh, freezer box. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So on off button, press and hold there. Select electric. Select gas. It will let you know if the gas fails. Oh, oh. Yeah, we fired up there. So if you if I just put it onto battery, that's yeah. showing failure now. So if that's doing on the gas, that means the gas has failed to light. Yeah. So all you well, need to do... But when we're towing, we put the battery on, that will automatically charge that when we're going along, won't it? Yeah. So what it's doing, 
as, as you said, obviously you don't need to switch control panel or anything like that on, just switch your fridge on, switch the battery, then as soon as, obviously as long as you've got that wiring in your car, yeah. that will uh, turn the engine on, it will provide power automatically to that and to charge your battery at the same time. It won't cool the fridge down, it just maintains the temperature. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to travel with it cold, cool it down the night before or the day before or whatever you want to do, and then you just slip that and then as you're traveling, it will maintain that temperature. Yeah, that's what we tend to do. So if we're going to yeah. buy the weekend, put the electric on a couple of days before, that's put it. the fridge cool it on, down. That's it. and then it's just a case of unplugging it. Yeah, switching that's it. Yeah, tree. definitely make sure you unplug it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you've got a really long cable, you can turn it <laughs> Not a good idea if you start dragging that down the road. No. So most people run on electric anyway. So temperature-wise, all five lit, that's the coldest setting. Yeah. Okay, so you just press this button. So just oh, just going back on the gas, because obviously I've, I forgot to just finish that bit. If it fails to light, there's reasons are, one, you haven't turned the gas on, two, you haven't got any gas, or that green button on the gas hose, yeah. make sure that's been triggered, or that crash sensor button, if that has that been triggered, so just check them. So same obviously with any of the gas appliances, just check that, okay? okay? Yeah. yeah. And obviously you just press and hold that, switches it off. There we go. Right, if we go cooker, that shouldn't, shouldn't be too much different. <laughs> obviously we're a bit restricted to space. Well, i just just show you that and that. Be very careful. If someone's cooking here, someone's had it, gone for a snooze. Obviously, you've gone for a snooze, he's doing the cooking. Just be, <laughs> just, be, just be careful. It's either leave the door open or just be people aware because you can guarantee someone's going to come out and smack that. Okay, grill pan handles this there for you. See, also this on, my, on, on the uh, Bailey. Yeah, that's not right. It's lost a screw somewhere. I'll, I'll get the um, we'll get the engineer to come and sort that out. It's uh, missing the screws. Looks like screws dropped out. What that is is a guard on your baby. You would have had to pull it out manually. That is to protect these. This one come, this is spring loaded, so it pops out. As soon as you put the grill down, so it, it's trying to protect the heat that's coming from the grill to stop. Ah, you burn your fingers. Yeah. And, stuff, yeah. and with the bay, I've got exactly the same type of model of van that you've got. Um, and I know you have to pull that out, and I, I always know that I've always forgotten because I'm in there trying to, go, <laughs> trying, to, trying to pull that out. <laughs> you have to go out as well. Right. <laughs> She's a bad boy. My dog, I've got a little, I've got a free dog. One's a pom, who, pomerary, whatever they call them, and he is a noisy dog. And he barks at everything that moves past, and then we've got a, a um, labadoodle, about that big. Then we've got a collie, he's huge. So all three of them come away with us. And <laughs> yeah, great. When one, one starts, when one starts, I'll, I'll get to the rest of them. Right, microwave. This is slightly different on compared to your other one. Glass plate. Do not travel with that in there. If that's going to drop onto that, yeah. you, it's going to be tears and expense. So I'll just leave that there for now. To operate it, that does nothing on its own. Press the microwave button once. That's your energy. 100%, 50%, whatever you want to power it up at. Yeah. Press it again. So second time on the microwave button. There's your seconds. Press start. Where you go. Okay. Otherwise, quick start on the start. Quick start on the start button. Goes up in minute increments. So you want two minutes? Just press it twice. One minute once. Where it goes automatically. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. I'm just trying to think now. Solar power size in that one. So that's your regulator. It's um, obviously switch free. So it's automatic. It will switch. It will switch it on when it needs it. As long as it's got power. As long yeah. as it's got power. As long as the sun's switched on. Um, so. If it's dark, obviously it's not going to give you anything. Or if you've got a cover on, obviously still again you're not going to give you anything. That there, you've got a green flashing light at the top. That's to say it's it's operating. Okay. okay. Even though it's very low light out there at the moment. Uh, red light that's giving it full 14 hour volts. If it goes to green, that that's the bottom light. That's giving it a lesser lesser charge of like 12 and a half. Okay. Yeah. It's all dependent on the battery and what condition it's in. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just have a look. Through here, if we get past me. It was always a bit cosy. <laughs> right. Toilet shouldn't be any different. Obviously, you always come with the uh, free sample of uh, blue and pink. Okay. Electric fuss, that should look like exactly the same. Normally, that noise is empty. Your know, fuss is empty. So, your, your shower shower head, which is what you've got here, is an on off button there. So, it's just to obviously restrict the amount of water you want to use. Just be careful, obviously, in this time of year, make sure that is open. It's either that, take the, take the head off, make sure you drain down, make sure that's open. If it's stepped, stuck in this position, and there's water still in there, freezes, yeah. obviously you're going to have problems. Okay, okay? Yeah. so make sure it's drained down, as 
You should always do on a caravan, right? Bedroom wise. If you have a look under there, obviously you can see the spare wheel and everything else. Okay. Alright. Yeah. And if you look at the side of the bed, obviously that's the reason why I wanted to look as well. You see you've got a socket that side. Ah, uh, yeah. A socket that side. So that's really useful. You've got power there to put whatever on the on the side of your bed, charging phones or whatever else. Okay, yeah. Alright, yeah. And obviously TV, TV points, so that the same bracket fits that once outside. And also you got. So what you'll find on the dimmable lights, they're not a rocker switch. So that one you can see is that one behind there. The dimmable yeah. lights usually it's a, a rocker switch, not a rocker switch like that. It's like a trigger switch. This is. There we go. Off. Okay. So it's a trigger switch. So you, if you feel that trigger switch, normally it's the ones above the lockers. And they're individually uh, lit are the. So these ones have actually got dimmers on the back, but there that's a manual dimmer that does not dim with the other mm -hmm. dimmer lights. So if it you want to dim them, you have to do that manually. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. One thing we haven't talked about as yet is so if you've registered with Swift Command. Yes. Yeah. So to talk. So I was. <coughs> what's up there? You? <coughs> you don't want to talk about that, right? So, have you got the app on your phone? Yes. Yeah. So, if you want to get your phone out, then I'll show you how to connect, connect, connect via Bluetooth. So, we've got Samsung. So, what? What? I'm going to treat. Sorry. So, we just need to make sure we've got Bluetooth on. And we just if we go to Bluetooth first, so we need to pair it up. So, just go to your Bluetooth first. on oh, the settings where it is. That's it. Go on there. Go onto that. Oh, you need to go onto that because we need to pair it. Now, go back onto your Bluetooth. So go on to Bluetooth, you know, just go to the top of the screen, just scroll that down, press and hold Bluetooth, and it'll come up. There we go. Well, you've already got it. Right. So it's Bluetooth on, we wanna so what we're gonna need to do with this, this is first time. So you, we need to pair up first. So we go to system settings, so we just scroll around until you see system settings. Okay, so this yeah. is just first time. Once we get it connected, we don't need to do this. Um right, so we go into system settings, so we can see we can set set clock or whatever. I'm gonna scroll up until I see Bluetooth pair. Press the button, select button, it will then say Bluetooth active. If you've got press scan, as you don't do two at the same Swift, time. Swift blue. Yeah, Swift blue, that's what we're looking for. But don't do two at the same time because it might confuse things. Okay. So, is it scanning still? Just just, just scroll up, there we are. Just tap on that. That's now going to pair, you see it's now pairing. When it becomes up here, then, right, yep. so go back to your app now. So we know that's. This will operate for around about a minute. If that blue light's flashing, it's still sending a signal. But we, so you can connect up to four four devices with it if you want to. But you only do one at a time, otherwise mm -hmm. it will confuse mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Right. So we want to we're connecting now via Bluetooth. So if you you can either press that bottom icon there or the Bluetooth icon there. It doesn't matter which. Search for control panel. You'll see a little blue icon coming up. When it becomes clear, tap that one, and that should connect via Bluetooth. Then sometimes it drops out first time. Yeah. Well, it depends on what it feels like. Okay, so we're now talking to this via Bluetooth now. So what we can do, so the options we've got is, if you just tap on that one, that's power. So when it becomes clear, that's when it's communicated with it. So you can see, we can actually switch the 12 volt systems on and off. Yeah. We can switch the vehicle battery if that was connected on site. AC limit we can set. Live data just updates it quicker. And you can also see the leisure battery level. And you should yeah. be able to see, just scroll up. On this one, obviously I haven't got the vehicle there. Depending on if the solar is active and mains, what amperage we're using on that as well. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just come back out of that one. We can also do water. So when it becomes clear, that will show you the pump is not on at the moment. So anything else is not clear at the moment. That's not connected with this particular model. Okay. So you can sw switch the water pump on and off. But be careful how you operate that. If you haven't got control over them taps, over the drain down, you you. You've, you say you've got to site, you've connected your acro outside, oh, I'll just switch my pump on, while well, you're still standing outside. And then next minute, you've got a van full of water because you haven't switched the taps off, you haven't switched the drain down. Yeah, yeah. So be yeah, careful so how yeah. you use that. So okay. you can switch the water on and off from there. That's it, come back out of there. So what we've also got is heating. So we can control heating from, from your app. See, it sometimes it takes a, so it takes a yeah. bit of time. So at the moment, it's, it's operating manual, okay? Yeah. On the manual side of it, you control the heating from that control panel there as you did in your baby. If it's on the timers, so you've got timer seven, timer one. Timer seven is 70 individual days, you can set a timer. As I said, you can set the timer from this system as well. Okay. Or timer one is the same every day. Or override, override will talk to it. 
um, uh, get, get my brain into gear. Right, so you, if you were, say we're talking about this remotely now, so it, as long as your caravan's got a signal, and you've got a signal wherever you are, so you could be up on the on the rink in there, caravan's on site, you've set a timer for your heater to come on at say four o'clock, you were gonna plan to get back for five o'clock, so it's nice and warm by the time to get yeah, back. Yeah. It's lunchtime, you think, oh, it's cold, I wanna come back now. So you can actually operate override, which will then, if you just tap on override, we won't, we won't operate, but if you can actually select gas, electric, so that, that's the energy you're going to operate on. Hour, that is actually operation time. You can set up to a four hour, four hour operation if you wanted to. Okay. The center one, which says off at the moment, that you can set the temperature. The next one is water heating. So if you want to switch water heating on as well, then all you do is press start and then it will communicate with that and uh, set, set the heating running straight away. Um, oh, just lost track where I was going then. I had something in the back of my brain, and it just went and disappeared. <laughs> right, so you can you can do that. Oh, yeah. That was it. That was it. So what we need to do, if you just come back to here, oh, oh, wait. exit settings. So if you remember the one we saw, which says heating settings, if you go into that, at the moment it says control manual. So that is controlling that. Yeah. Or that no, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it's not, it's brain, brain, brain. That <laughs> is controlling itself. Yeah. That is not controlling that because it says manual. If I've got that set to timer or app, obviously we can control it from timer and app. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if I do that, uh, no, I need to set that as well. But if this is on timer or app, you can't control it manually here. Okay. okay. So if you want to control it via the control panel, it needs to be on manual. But if you want to control it on app, app timer is via that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I mm -hmm. press arrow up or down to select exit. Little clock appears on there. That's to say we, we can control it via that. Mm. What we need to do on this side of it, I need to go install accessories. Third party panel, that is to talk to that. If I click on that, I can. Go on, there we go. So then them, them two should talk, talk to each other. So what you normally find is, if that is set to app, that one's got the thing on, the um, third panel party on, normally this will shut down. It isn't at the moment. It's not thinking about it at the moment. So normally, when you've got set that to app, unless the timer is set, it won't. Oh, you lost Bluetooth. Okay. If, if if the screen goes off, that's it. So when you when you first get to it, you should see, you should see that. That's it. Got, got a signal again. Yeah. So it, just thinking about it. Right. So you can see now it's set to timer seven. You're given the options of seven different days now. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can switch energies override. You can switch to override as well. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh no, we got got, a, got an issue now. So at the moment, that's telling me that that them two don't want to communicate. It might it might just be there's just a connection loose somewhere. We'll, we'll have to get the engineer back in and just have a look at that. Okay, because obviously we need him to sort that one out as well. Yeah. Okay, so that you shouldn't see that. So when this is this is switched to app, that will shut down unless there's a timer ready to operate. Okay, so if you do, say you went on site, you've been playing with the app, then you've you've gone home. Your next site, next time you've gone out, you forgot you haven't done. You you've been playing on that last last mm -hmm. time. You come and switch this on. It, normally it switches straight off, unless there's a time ready to mm -hmm. operate. So if you come to it and you see that little clock there, yeah. that means you're operating on that. So if you want to operate on this, you need to go back into heating settings, and switch it back to manual, and switch it back to manual. Yeah, then you will allow you to be able to. You should be able to probably do it from there as well. Switch, do you see yeah. that now? Yeah, because that's switch just it back it, yeah. on. Right. So I'll just, I'm just going to switch that. So if that is not on, okay, just tap that off. See that that should, yeah, that's clear. That, that's clear the fault now. But there is something happening there because if I put it back on, that that will probably come back up again. So that's one fault you may see. You should. We'll, I'll get the engineer just to run through that just to check, and make sure. You, there, there might it, it might just be something silly as just a, a a little plug somewhere. It's just pulled out okay. when they were cleaning it. Possibly they, they might have just knock something. Okay, so. We'll, so if you do see that, that, that's that's what it said. It's not. It can't communicate with that via the heating. Okay. okay, just tap on that then. So if you come back out of that one, right? What we've also got. This is a 17 model. The the app you got is the for the 18 model. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's the only option you get. So fridge does not operate on this on this year. Okay. So it's a, it's a new fridge they've got. Light it obviously does. Press the tap tap and when it becomes clear, what you'll <coughs> see these buttons here are the same as these buttons here. 
when it yeah. becomes clear. There we go. But what you'll see is you've got two dim channels. You've got, just got the one there. Yeah. That is two. What you've got is dim two is above the bed. Dim one is the one at the front. No, it isn't. Dim one. <laughs> I'm doing too well today. Dim one's above the bed. Dim two's at the front. So just tap dim two, you'll see. That should go out. There we go. So <laughs> you switch it back on again. So you've got sliders as well there now. So if you just tap dim two at this end, you can slide it. Oh, that's it. Wait, wait for it to I'll go blue. Yeah, wait for it to go blue. You should see that. Not on yeah. at all. Then you just yeah. Hang on, just do. It. What's happening? Here? If you just tap dim two, just tap tap dim two, even though it says it's on. That's off now. Isn't it? Yeah. Just just give it time. I think you might have just tapped it when it was when it did want to communicate. No, oh, do it. Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> That's going the opposite way around for something. Just tap dim one then. That shouldn't do anything to that. Uh, what's happening there now? Just tap dim two on again. Is that going off? Oh, that's strange. <laughs> uh, back why, why is that? <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to talk to the engineers what's happening with that. Just tap, just tap it. It might just be a reset again. Right. So that might be an issue why that might not be communicating. There might be something else in there somewhere that might just. So dim, ah, oh, dim two's actually on there now. Yeah, and that's on. I just do, just you do the slider again. Then. Just tap it, just tap it at hundred end, at the far end. It's easy to do that way. And the four button, just tap it again to five. I see it right at the end. That did me down. When it becomes clear, that's when it's communicated. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Sorry, I think it sorted itself out. Like there. a bit of a glitch there. So it, your only light you can obviously on and off from there. That's that's your other. So you can't really see that because it's yeah. obviously outside unless you can see the reflection on there. Okay. Mm. So when it becomes clear, that's it. That's off. Yeah. Right. So just back then, we'll just come back to the next one. The other icon got there is aircon, obviously we haven't got aircon. Yeah. The blue tile, that is for remote, so just tap on that one. Just tap on it again. Sometimes it doesn't do like fingers. Right, what you see there is grey. Grey means it's not connected yet. Okay? Yeah. So we need to connect. So if you just tap back. We're going to head and shoulders. Nothing to do with dandruff. That one. Yeah. So you remember you've um, registered with Swift Command. Mm. You put an email address in and a password in. So okay. if you do that on there, you don't need to populate any of the rest because it will do that automatically for you. And then if you, do, if you remember your password, <laughs> that's always a fun bit. Obviously we don't record that. Do you use EO101? Yeah, so you should have a capital and a number in there as well. If it accepted yeah. it on your registration, right. So just scroll back down again. Scroll back down. Get vehicle details, tap on the grey bar. Your caravan should come up. What's it saying? It should, it should say your name and password entered. Um, have you got um, internet on, on your phone? Is the next question. You need to get, we've got um, data on. Yeah. Which one's data? Don't want it. That's why. That's Wi-Fi. No, you got data. Sure. Just scroll. Just scroll across, left to right, or right to left. No. Um, which one's the data on that? Just oh, that's it. Spread it out. Mobile data. Which one's mobile data? Is that that one? That one. Just tap on that one. I think. No, oh, that's no, torch. I'm looking at that one. No, that's mobile data, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, no, just just go back. Just go back out. We'll just see Unless if it shows the a signal. Off. Yeah, you turn yeah. Take the Wi-Fi off. Wi off him. You're probably it's searching for Wi-Fi. Yeah. Have we got an internet signal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, no, we got, I just see, I just see, we see got, got 4G or whatever, yeah. yeah. But just get vehicle data, details again. It might just be you tap the uh, password wrong. As it just, just redo your password, because I know, because it's, uh, sometimes you, you can, you can tap, sometimes you can tap, I might, I might know, I you might know, know what you've done there, yeah. Sometimes you can just tap the, because you, so, sometimes you can't actually see it, or you might have started with a capital and not a, not, not a capital. Easy done. That's it. Tap, get vehicle details. We should go. Oh, no. Please check your password. Uh, use the capital, but you didn't mind. Mm -hmm. It's definitely that email address you used, yeah? The email address is correct, yeah. is it, yeah? Was it, was it my email or yours email? Yeah, something. Well, the email's right then. Yeah, so just tr just try tapping your. Right, stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, technology balloons in. What are we doing for time? Right. Again. No. 
always tricky if you don't have your. I don't think you use my email address. No, I think because I, I connected you up with your van earlier on, and I used the email address at James 